Hey guys, um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to make your uh, sprites show up in Enter the Gungeon, how to replace different sprites, um, and with this you can make new characters, make new skins for guns, um, stuff like that. So basically what you're going to want to do first is go to uh, modthegungeon.github.io um, I'll leave a link to all the stuff you need in the description. But basically you're going to want to come here, scroll down, download the newest version, and then install it with the uh, installer here. Um, if you're getting this weird error, uh, there's a couple solutions. You can go into offline mode and then restart it. So check that and then restart the application. If that's not working, uh, I have another video that will fix it but it's a little bit risky so be cautious of that um, yeah so once you install that then once you go to your enter the gungeon folder in steam uh, this should be under program files 86 steam steam apps common enter the gungeon uh, there should be a couple of folders here um, one for mods and then this one is resources if you go into resources and then you go into sprites this is where you can drop your new uh, sprites, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, first, what you're going to want to do is download the Gungeon Sprite Dump, um, which is basically just like a huge folder that contains all the different sprites from the game. Um, it's going to come in probably a like a, a RAR file. Um, you can use download 7-zip or something like that to extract all the stuff here. But um, yeah, just seven seven zip. Oh no, no, no! Go to seven zip and then extract files or extract here, or whatever or whatever you have. Um, I think that WinRAR is another one that works. Um, <coughs> so yeah, you just want to extract that. When you do, you'll end up with a folder that looks like this. Um, it's basically, just gonna have like a million different folders, um, one for every kind of like character or. Uh, different like category of item in the game um, so basically what you want to do is find the sprite that you want to replace it's kind of hard to do sometimes because not all of them are named obviously like convict is an easy one but hunter is called the guide for some reason I think it's because they named these files before they actually came up with the final name for the characters so it's it, it can be difficult to find the ones that you're that you want, but once you do, basically what you want to do is uh, let's say we want to go with let's let's say we want to replace like reskin the convict or something. So we'll go to convict in your sprites folder. We'll make a new folder of the same name as the one that your that the sprite is kept in. So this is gonna be, we're gonna make one in this resources. Uh, sprites folder called convict. You can ignore this. This is something, this is like a zip that I made. Um, basically, yeah, so you want to go into the um, convict folder and then you want to uh, basically, you can, there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, uh, uh, I think the easiest way to do it is to just like copy the files you want to edit. So let's do like convict idle. Where is it at? What the heck? Oh, it's in just descending order. I forgot. Okay. So yeah, go, I don't know, convict idle front. Copy those, paste them into here. And then um, you can edit these files. And then when you launch the game, then these ones will be loaded instead of these ones. And that is how you essentially reskin uh, sprites. Um, there are these JSON files as well with the same names as these ones here, but I don't think they're important because I've both included these and not included these in this, um, in this file and it works either way, it seems. In fact, I think it actually might cause some lag. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, you could basically just go into here, take any 
whatever the folder is called, put it in here, and then, or make a folder of the same name in the sprites, and then paste the edited versions with the same names as the originals into the folder. And then uh, your new stuff will then show up in game. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully that'll work out for everybody. And have fun modding, I guess. I'll see you around.